In today's video, I'm going to be discussing a concept and some ideas that can help you literally get anything that you want. And no, I'm not going to be talking about the law of attraction. All right, that's today's video. Let's go get into it. Hey everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to another Blind to Billionaire video. Like I just said in my intro, today's video is going to be discussing some different concepts and ideas that if implemented could be absolutely life-changing. But hey, right before we get into it, I just wanna say really quickly, this could be a little bit of a controversial video simply because I could have some people push back and maybe disagree with some of these ideas and concepts I'm about to share. But here's what I wanna say to that. Please, just feel free to watch this video. It's only going to be a few minutes long, but just watch it. Truly listen to what I'm about to say. And if you implement some of these ideas and concepts, I guarantee you, it can change your life. Trust me, I've done it even as a blind person. It's actually what encouraged me to implement these ideas and concepts, and I'm so glad that I did because it has been life-changing. I would never go back. I mean, I'm so glad I did this. But what actually inspired me to create this video is that over the last few weeks and on Tuesdays, I've been creating these passive income videos. So this is part of that series but I wanted to create this video because I've had a lot of different comments of people saying, uh, like, I can't get started because I don't have any money. Well, I just wanna say, in all my videos, I've never ever said you need money to get started. In fact, you don't. You could have zero dollars and get started. And trust me, you can still build something huge with zero dollars. I never ever said you need money. And I've had other, a couple other people mention something like, I don't have any money to put into the stock market. Again, I've never ever said go into the stock market. In fact, I would say avoid the stock market. I'm not talking about that. So I wanted to create this video to hopefully give you some ideas of how you can really create something powerful and life-changing literally with no money because you don't need money. I never said that you do and it's not investing in the stock market. So let's get into the video. Now I want to say Everybody, not everybody, let me take that back. I wanna say probably 95% of you watching this video, again, 95%, just an arbitrary number that I'm throwing out. I'm guessing probably 95 or more percent of you watching this video have two tools at your disposal right now that can literally change your life and give you basically just about anything that you want. Now, you might think of that in you might listen to that and think, there's no way. I mean, this guy's blowing smoke. He has no, no idea what he's talking about. Actually, I do know what I'm talking about and I've done it to myself and I've seen millions of other, I haven't like personally seen millions of other people, but I can give you millions of examples of people that have done this with these tools or even less. So I guarantee you, if you're watching this video, I know for a fact you have at least one of them and I'm guessing you probably have the other one, which because almost everybody does. Um, so let's get into what are these things. Now, like I said just a minute ago, just hear me out, just listen to this video. Even if you don't agree with it, listen to this video because seriously, just listen to it and it could change your life provided that you implement some of these ideas. If you completely disagree, feel free to rip into me at the end of the video in the comment section. I mean, by all means, go at it, but just listen to me first because trust me, I mean, this stuff is, it's powerful and you just need to listen to it. I mean, it's nothing like, I mean, this is, these are not like innovative concepts. It's just something that very few people actually think about and implement, which is nuts to me. But that's why I'm inspired to create this video to hopefully have some of you start thinking outside of the box and maybe start implementing the, these ideas and achieving some of the things that you truly want in your life. So what are these two things? One of these two tools that I'm guessing the majority of you already have that if implemented can change your life. So let's get right into it. These two things, ready for them? And then I'll give you some examples of how and why these things <laughs> can really, uh, really just like do so much for you. All right, so number one, creativity. Everybody has creativity, literally everybody. Now you might be thinking, seriously, I've watched this many minutes into the video and you're gonna tell me how to be creative? Yeah, I am. Because guess what? Everything, everything that is created 
has come from a place of creativity. Literally everything, the house that you live in, the apartment you live in, the car that you drive, the phone, tablet, or computer that you're watching this video on, um, the clothes that you're wearing, the toothbrush that you brushed your teeth with, the food that you ate this morning, literally everything was created from an idea. Everything started as a creative idea in the mind of somebody at some point. Maybe it was 100 years ago. Maybe it was a year ago. Maybe it was two days ago. It doesn't matter. Everything started as a creative idea. Now, why is that so powerful? Because everybody has the ability to be creative and think of ideas and concepts. Think of some, let me give you a couple of examples of creative ideas that have literally revolutionized the world and the way that we live now. Think of the device that you're watching this video on. Maybe it's an iPhone, maybe it's an Android phone, maybe it's a, an iPad or a tablet, maybe it's a laptop or a desktop. Who created these devices? Well, it's probably someone like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, one of these people that's created these huge brands. Has that changed your life? Yes, in a huge way. It's changed the world. Now, how did they do it? Basically, they were sitting around someday, you know, way back when, 20, 30 years ago, whatever, however long it was ago, and they were thinking, I'm gonna create something or whatever, like um, uh, Bill Gates, for example. I mean, back in the day, he was thinking, how can I build a software system, like a computer software, and he went through the necessary steps, being creative, using his mind, thinking, how can I do this? And going through all the necessary steps, now look at him. He's one of the richest people in the world. Um, Steve Jobs, he's not with us anymore, but he's the one who created um, Apple Computer. I mean, that's with the old brand, Apple, um, Apple Incorporated, like the iPhone, the iPad, stuff like that. I mean, he revolutionized the world. It started as a concept of the iPod. Right? He was thinking about how can I digitally put music in this little device? And back in the day, he would say something like 1,000 songs in your pocket. It was some slogan or something like that uh, for the iPod, which is amazing. I mean, think of that. One little idea of a concept of putting this little, this little device, putting 1,000 songs on it, throw it in your pocket, and guess what? Eventually, it turned into the Mac computer. It turned into the iPad, the iPhone. I mean, it has literally revolutionized the world. It has been, he came up with that through just being creative, thinking about and just using his creative faculties of like, how can I do this? There are millions upon millions of people. Literally everything was created through creative ideas and just someone with a creative idea thinking about like, how can I do this? Even, let's just take it down to something really simple. But think of whatever you live in, whether it's a house, apartment, whatever. It doesn't even matter what you live in. That was created through a creative idea from somebody. Somebody was thinking, saying, hey, I want to build a house. I want to build an apartment building. What are the necessary first steps? Well, let's design this thing. Where did the initial design come from? I guarantee you it started in the mind of somebody. They took those ideas and put them down on paper into the form of like drafts, a blueprint, something like that, and then they took it into action and created whatever it is, a huge apartment building, a huge beautiful house, whatever it is, it all started in the mind of somebody. So why am I so obsessed about like hammering this idea home? The reason is, is because all of you have what it takes to do this. Like literally every one of you has this. You have the creative faculties that it takes to create these ideas, these concepts. You can do it, trust me. Let me use me for an example. This YouTube channel was a creative idea in my mind about two and a half years ago. It was late 2017 for whatever reason, I have no clue why, I came up with the idea, I wanna start a YouTube channel. I have no idea why, I had no idea what I was going to do with the channel. I didn't even know how to upload a video at the time. I was watching some YouTube at the time, just really casually. For whatever reason, I decided I'm going to have a YouTube channel. It took me a few months to implement because I literally had no clue what I was doing. I didn't know, like I just said, didn't know how to even upload a video. But I decided I'm going to do it. I went through the necessary steps and I did it. Started creating videos. Again, had no clue what I was doing, uploading videos about anything and everything at the time. Now here we are a little over two and a half years later and the channel is 
it's grown a ton. I've met so many amazing people through this channel and it has created so many unique opportunities. Speaking engagement, brand deals, opportunities, um, just the exposure that this channel has given me has been literally life-changing. I mean, if I would've looked back two and a half years ago and said, in mid-2020, I'm gonna be doing this with the channel, I would've looked at that and thought, there's no way. There's no way that's gonna happen. But here we are, it's done. And, and I mean, I, I literally have people reaching out to me, not every day, but I would say at least a couple people every week for different types of opportunities, whether it's a brand deal, maybe it's some type of speaking engagement, some type of advertising, something like that. I mean, it's I never ever would have guessed it, but guess what? It was a creative idea in my mind two and a half years ago that, hey, I wanna start a channel. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna start moving. Here's another idea that I just want to throw out there. Many of the people who start these big things like Apple Computer, um, Microsoft, you know, it doesn't even, I mean, those are huge, huge examples, but just even think of something smaller like a dollar store, like a mom and pop dollar store down on the street corner. I mean, still, again, a creative idea that somebody had, they wanted to create something. But I just want to say this the people who create these things don't know how they're going to do most of what they're going to do when they start. All that they do is they have an idea and they start moving into action and all of the necessary steps are laid out for them as they get there. So if you think of something and say, I have no clue how I'm going to even do it, don't worry about it. Just move into action and start taking the necessary steps and the way will be shown to you. Trust me, I've done it many times in my life. I had no idea how I was going to do something, how I was going to implement something, how I was going to get from here to there. But guess what? Powerful things start to happen when you start moving into action the way will be shown to you. It's, it's an incredible concept and it's so weird how it works, but trust me, it works. I've done it and it's just like, it's almost scary how things kind of like come into your life and it's like, wow, I just met that person and that person had the next step. And I mean, they were able to give me the, the tools and concepts that I needed to move on to the next step. It's just, it's weird, but that's just how it works. All right, so that was like a really <laughs> long drawn out explanation of uh, like creativity, the first tool. But here's the second tool that I guarantee you that, like I said earlier, about 95% or more probably of you watching this video already have. And that is um, like a smartphone, an iPhone, an Android phone, a tablet, a laptop, something like that. In fact, I guarantee you, if you're watching this video, you probably have it, unless you're at like the local library watching on their computer or something like that. So it's probably even more than 95% of you already have this. Why is this so powerful? Literally, an iPhone, an Android phone, a tablet, it's literally access to the entire world in the palm of your hand. You can do basically anything from it. You can get in contact with literally just about anybody in the entire world. You can network. You can create a YouTube channel like I did and have a global audience. It's possibly the most powerful piece of technology out there right now. And if you have one of these phones and you have the creative abilities in your mind, like I've been discussing, you have the two most powerful tools at your disposal at this time. If you start just thinking, just thinking of some ideas, maybe write them down, maybe physically write them down on paper, write them in your phone, something like that. You can do the necessary research that you need on your technology, your phone, your, you know, whatever it is, your smart device. And trust me, if you start moving into action with some of these things, you won't even believe where your life can go in just a short amount of time. I mean, I've, I've done this so many times and I continue to do it. In fact, I'm gonna talk about a little concept, an idea that I came up with a few years ago. Um, I'm not gonna give you too many details because this thing is like, it's really special to me and I don't wanna expose it quite yet because I'm still in the process of uh, like moving forward with it, but I'll share with you a little concept. Actually, it's not even a little concept. This is a huge concept. Um, it's an idea that I conceived of about six years ago. It was in about mid 2014. I thought of this idea out of nowhere. Basically, I took some of the passions that I have. What is it that I absolutely love to do? And how can I share that with the world? I started thinking about it and I built like this image in my mind of something that I thought that would be amazing to build and to deliver to the world. So I started building this idea, this image in my mind, being creative in my mind 
thinking of this thing. I mean, literally every day I was just thinking about it, building this image. Over the course of, I don't know, about a year and a half, I built this beautiful image in my mind. And eventually I thought, you know what? I need to put this down on paper. I can't just be thinking about this anymore. So I spent about two months writing an elaborate business plan. I still currently have it. I have this business plan. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's about, it's a 20 page business plan that, like I said, it took me two plus months, two and a half months or so to write. Um, it's very detailed. It write, it basically explains every little concept of this idea that I have. In addition to that, I think I have about a 17 page financial statement of projections, things like that. So in total, it's about a 37 or so page plan of this huge concept that I want to bring. Here's the deal. Again, I feel like there are literally no limits to what we can do. I, I truly believe that. We just need to figure out how to do it. Here's the next steps in this project. Um, so obviously it's going to cost a ton of money to build this um, from the estimates that I've had from all of like the calculating, the researching that I've done. It looks like it's going to be about $75 million to build what I want to build. But what's the next step? What do I need to do? Well, I need to start moving into action, right? Taking this plan that I have and maybe start pitching to investors. Maybe go out to California and start pitching to different VC firms. If you're not sure what that is, venture capital. Um, talking to all these different investors, seeing who I can find that'll come onto my team and start believing in me and my concept so that I can bring this to the world. And I know for a fact that this is something that's going to be absolutely huge and people would absolutely love it. The reason is there's evidence all around us. I can't believe that there's something like, that something like this hasn't already been built and established. I mean, I look around, all, I mean, as a blind person <laughs> saying looking around, but <clears throat> what I mean is when I'm out and about kind of like observing my surroundings, I'm just like, I literally can't believe that this hasn't been built and established yet. And I know for a fact that when this place is built and, uh, it's available to the public, um, it's going to be <laughs> like unbelievable. And uh, I'm just, I'm so excited about this. But the reason I wanted to bring this idea up is because literally within your mind, there are no limits. There's no financial limits. There's no legal limits. There's no limits of any kind. You can do anything you want in the privacy of your own mind. The only deal is, are you going to take action on that idea? Or are you just going to let it kind of float around in your mind and just kind of disappear eventually. Well, in my opinion, my idea would be take action. The reason I say that is because you just literally have no idea the power that you have inside of you. Literally everybody has this. It's just the people that stand out and the people that you see on TV, celebrities, all these people that have made it big, they're the ones who have actually acted on their ideas. And again, you don't need to have like this huge idea, not at all. Maybe your idea is you want to open um, like a salon down on the corner. Who cares? Do it. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's great. You don't need to create the next Apple computer or Microsoft to, you know, in your life. I mean, you don't, you definitely don't need to do that. If you want to create and have, um, a small liquor store down on the corner, that's awesome too. It doesn't really matter what it is, how big or how small or whatever it is. The point of this video is just say, use the creative faculties that you have really truly start thinking about what is it that I love to do? What is it that I want to bring to the world? And again, I'm not saying, like I said earlier, you do not need money to start. Trust me. If you have an idea and you have a purpose and you know exactly where you're going, money is the last thing you need. Because guess what? You don't need any money until you decide that you're going to do something. When you do that, then the money will appear. And it's not like it's going to appear at your front door in a briefcase with all $100 bills all perfectly wrapped up. That's not how it works. But trust me, things move into your life in a very interesting way. So I hope this is a little bit of an interesting video. And I literally went off on a huge rant. And I don't know if any of this even makes sense. But hopefully it got you thinking a little bit about the power of creativity and the power of the smart device that you have probably in your hand right now, an iPhone, an Android phone, maybe a tablet of some kind, and literally the power that it has harnessed within, within it. And literally you can do just about anything with that. So I know that this isn't exactly perfectly in line with 
the passive income videos that I have been making over the last few weeks, but I thought this would be a necessary video because so many people have been reaching out in the comments saying, I don't have any money to start. And my response is, who cares? I never ever said you need money to start because you don't. You need your mind to start thinking of ideas and concepts. And trust me, the ideas, the ways, the means, the money, um, the people, the resources, everything that you need will come into place as you start moving forward with your ideas. So trust me, it's incredibly powerful. If you hated this video, like I said earlier, if you don't agree with anything I said, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Even if it's, you know, even if you hate what I just said, leave a comment down below, let me have it. I'd love to hear it. If you love this video and it got you thinking, keep going with it. Literally, before you leave a comment, just sit back and think for a while. Spend some time thinking, daydream. There's nothing wrong with daydreaming, trust me. So many things have been, have been developed as a result of daydreaming. In fact, um, this video is getting long, I know that, but I just wanna say another thing. I've been watching this documentary about uh, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, and wow, that's, an in, that's a really inspirational video to watch this guy. I mean, he, Amazon, again, the whole Amazon, I mean, Amazon is massive. It's the largest company in the world. It was all creative as, as just an idea in the mind of Jeff Bezos. Um, absolutely amazing. So anyway, I hope you like this idea. I hope it got you thinking a little bit, maybe a little bit more outside the box. And I don't know, I just, I'm just excited to read some of the comments here on this video, even if they're, they're good, they're bad, they're ugly, whatever it is. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear it. Have a great day, everybody, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. You can't wait to see